Calls to cut politicians and senior bureaucrats pay to $750 a week. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee because I want to have a look at a tweet from Craig Kelly MP. Well, he's making calls to cut MP's pay and I think a few people may be on board with this idea. If we're all in this together, well, we certainly are, comrade, then all MPs and senior health bureaucrats must take pay cuts to 750 per week while their state or territory is in lockdown. Let's all share the financial pain together. How about it, Gladys, Hazard, Dom, and Barilaro? How about it? I've got one concern with this, and that's just, I want to draw attention or attention to a work of fiction, but I think is somewhat appropriate here. Uh, you know, why these politicians may not be able to, or bureaucrats may not be able to take a pay cut, may not be able to experience the fact that we're all in this together, to live at the level of a, of a common worker, you know, because of, well, their brain work, everyone. Rations were shortened for the workers, but the pigs, by virtue of their brain work, were plentifully provided for I am going to milk this Animal Farm clip <laughs> for as long as I, it, it seems appropriate because it bloody well does here. It really does. And for those of you that haven't watched Animal Farm, I recommend that you do, particularly the younger people who are in love with my socialism, you know, and, and uh, want all the gimmies because that, that's going to you know, give a pretty accurate description of how it ends up ha- being. So, this is a press release. Cut all politicians and senior bureaucrats pay to 750 per week. Craig Kelly, MP, the independent member for Hughes, has today called for all politicians, both federal and state, and all senior government bureaucrats to have their weekly salary reduced to 750 per week for as long as any lockdown continues in their state or territory. I, honestly, I have no, no problem with this at all. If the politicians are restricting the ability of people to work, they're restricting our freedom, they're restricting our liberty, make them share the financial burden. That's, that's their duty to reduce the amount of debt that's growing. I mean, if we have a look here, everyone, well, that's the GDP, but if we have a look here at our debt, nearly $1.3 trillion is predicted. Eve, every little dollar will help. Every little dollar in reduced debt, reduced taxation, reduced money that the government has to vacuum out of it is more money, or out of us, is more money that can be spent on a young couple struggling to get their first home, on little Susie's dance lessons, or or a a little child to buy their first computer for them so they can learn. You know, why not? Are, are, Are you against the children, politicians, that are not willing to to take a bit of a hit financially? I I think they are. Silence is compliance. They must hate the children. If governments are going to continue to deny Australians the freedom to earn a living or prevent them from opening their businesses, politicians expect families to survive on 750 per week for an extended period, then politicians and senior bureaucrats need to set an example and cut their salaries to the same, said Craig Kelly. If we're all in this together, as the marketing slogan goes, then we all need to be in this together, including financially. Given that individuals and businesses have been given as little notice as at midnight tonight, this pay cut, reducing weekly salaries for all politicians and senior government bureaucrats, should be made effective as of midnight tonight, said Craig Kelly. So, what do you think, everyone? I mean, he's obviously stirring the pot a little bit, but it's good. He should. Politicians and bureaucrats need to realize that perhaps this may be one of the reasons why you have people taking to the streets, everyone. Because how many people who are against the protest or against, or probably don't even understand or just marginalize it as some fringe nutters? And of course, they're going to be fringe nutters at every protest. They're people, that's their hobby. They go to one, of the, one protest for completely different things just to hang out there and start a ruckus. But there's a lot of normal people there that are struggling to get by, struggling to feed their family, struggling to keep their businesses open. It's, is, it, is it even acknowledged in the media? 
So what do you think, everyone? Do you agree with Craig's suggestion? Should politicians and senior health bureaucrats have their wages cut? Or do they need to, you know, what about by virtue of their brain work, guys? Can we have that? I'm going to show this clip again. Rations were shortened for the workers, but the pigs, by virtue of their brain work, were plentifully provided for. It's a good movie. and it's, it's more appropriate. We have a look here. Here's the wage price index. And you can see that we have looked at another article where some of the people working in in the retail sector or cafe and hospitality sector are actually having to pay above the award to attract talent. So wages hopefully will start to grow at a more significant rate. You can see they haven't for some time. I make a joke of this chart where the RBA repeatedly failing in their wage price forecasts. But there's one chart here that we need to see. Now, this is showing you the private versus public sector wage price index. The red line is the public sector percent of year-on-year change. The purple line is the private sector year-on-year change. Do you notice a difference between the two? Hmm, I wonder. So that you've got people here that are living, frankly, in a different world. Some people who have had no financial impact to this. Some people can't even relate to the people that are completely struggling, their businesses destroyed, things they've worked on their entire life just taken away from them. They expect people to take that sacrifice, take a little few crumbs from the government, pay taxes their whole life. The best ones are the people that don't that realize, and it's kind of this is really kind of sad. You know, they've saved, they've got an emergency fund, and they can't get any money from the government because they've saved and they've got an emergency fund. They seem to, you know, think, oh well, you know, everyone needs the money there from the government when it's tough times. They seem to mistakenly think that the government's welfare program is income protection insurance when it's not. It's just to keep you from destitution. Maybe we need to all push to have less government in our lives, less intervention. Maybe if people weren't paying such a huge tax burden for most of their lives. And you know what? We're one of the biggest ones in the world. I'm going to bring this up here. Here you go. Here's OECD in Australia. We're at number, what is it, four with the tax burden that we have. And this is income tax by household type. So maybe if we didn't have all of this, you know, people might, might not uh, be so frustrated or struggling so much. You know, just a theory. Hopefully we'll see a political shift. Well, that's the solution I put forward. You know, good on you, Craig. Do it. Put it forward. Let's see if any politicians step up. I guarantee you they won't. You know, by virtue of their brain work. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one in the comments down below. If you're a fan and enjoy the content I create, here are a few ways you can support us. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. You can sign up for Self Wealth or Stake. Use our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or Aussie Broadband. Buy a merch from Heiser Says. Use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint or support us via PayPal. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.